In this video, we'll discuss how to use the text-to-speech block inside of your automation workflow. The text-to-speech block takes text captured by the user and converts it to speech that can be played back and downloaded. Once the text-to-speech block has been added to your workflow, you'll be able to configure the block by using the configuration panel on the right. For this example, we'll use an app that generates poems and then displays an audio version of the poem to be listened to. We have a user input collecting the idea for the poem from the user, then we're generating the poem using a generate text block, which we've assigned to the variable poem text. In the text field of the text to speech block, we'll add in the poem text variable because that is the audio we want to translate. Make sure to use double curly braces when typing the variable into this field. Then we'll assign an output variable name to the audio. We can call it poem audio. Note that you don't have to add double curly braces when writing a variable name into this field. Last, we'll select the text-to-speech model we're going to use for this application. For this example, we'll use OpenAI's TTS. Now that our text-to-speech block is configured, we'll need to add a display block to make sure both the audio player and the poem get displayed to the user. Check out our video about using the display block to better understand the markdown syntax that is being used. Now let's see how this looks to the consumer. Let's ask the AI to write a short poem about summertime, then tap Next. And here's our poem. Let's see how it sounds. Here's a two sentence poem about summer. The sun shines bright, warming my skin, laughter and joy, summer's sweet din. We also have the option to download the audio or play it back at a different speed. Thanks for watching this video about the text to speech block. We'll see you next time.